Elizabeth Hyrick. I was born in Leicester in 1789. In my early life, I became a member of the Society of Friends, where we pushed for social reform. In the year 1824, I wrote and distributed a pamphlet titled The Immediate, Not Gradual Abolition of Slavery. In this, I stated that slavery should be immediately abolished, not gradually allowed to die out, because of the following reasons. First of all, American slavery is very different from the pre-existing slavery in Africa. Also, slavery is immoral because of how slaves are treated. Finally, although many people believe that slavery is necessary for our economy, there are other alternatives. American and European slavery is completely different than African slavery. For example, in America, slaves are constantly humiliated and treated with little to no respect as if they were property. However, in Africa, slaves are treated as human beings. The slaves in Africa were always well fed, and some were able to keep slaves themselves. America bound slaves have to endure the Middle Passage. During this, they crossed the treacherous Atlantic Ocean, where 40% of slaves die due to disease or being thrown overboard by the crew for misbehaving. In Africa, slaves are either prisoners of war or criminals serving a sentence. On the other hand, in America, slaves are based off their race because Christians, attempting to justify slavery and save themselves from damnation, stated that Africans are an inferior race and they are born into the role of slavery. None of these terrible treatments existed in Africa, demonstrating how different African and European slavery are. Secondly, slavery is immoral because of how slaves were treated in America and Europe. Africans are used as slaves for mainly two reasons, the first of which being their skin color. The pigmentation of the slave's skin is highly contrasting from the Europeans and Americans. People also believe that because Africans were not Christian, the Bible encouraged whites to own them as slaves. But this is not the case. Exodus 20.16 states, quote, Whoever steals a man and sells him, and anyone found in possession of him, shall be put to death, end quote. This quote, straight out of the Bible, says that a man who sells slaves or who owns slaves shall be put to death. This excerpt says slave, not just Christian, representing the idea that no man should be a slave, even if he is not Christian. Also, slaves are treated as property instead of as people. For example, the Jean trial happened when a ship captain killed 130 slaves to try to get money. The captain ended up dying on the journey but the ship's owner was tried and charged with insurance fraud, not murder. This was the first time that European slaves were considered property and not humans. Finally, there are alternatives to slavery. Many people advocate for the abolition of the slave trade with a guarantee that eventually slavery will be allowed to die out. But I believe that all slaves must be emancipated immediately there are alternatives to the slave trade using slave labor. Although it is said that without these things, our economy will collapse, there are many changes we can make that will allow our economy to stand strong, maybe even strengthen. For example, we could use more indentured servants, more paid jobs, maybe even hiring Native Americans. This would lead to less inhumane treatment of people, while still allowing our economy to be strengthened. All of these are reasons why we should immediately emancipate all slaves, stop the slave trade, and pursue other options to strengthen our economy. In conclusion, slavery must be stopped as soon as possible. It is inhumane, as we are treating people as if they were a chair or a table. Also, I have heard slavery being justified, as Africans also use slavery. However, African slavery is very different from European and American slavery. We are much crueler to the people we buy and sell than Africans are. Finally, there are many other alternatives to the slave trade and labor that we use. In short, we could be just as well off without slavery as we are currently, so why would we not do away with this extreme injustice in our society?